Waddle, great strike by Tungabai Lowen. Pressure coming. Intercepted in the end zone. What's up, guys? My name is Joanna, and you're watching Dolphins Today, coming to you from the Baptist Health Studios right here in Miami Gardens. Well, the countdown to Senior Bowl continues as the American and national teams practice ahead of Saturday's action in Mobile, Alabama. Each team will be coached by the Detroit Lions and New York Jets, respectively. Eleven members of the Dolphins' active roster in 2021 had experience playing in the Senior Bowl, including rookie tight end Hunter Long and offensive lineman Robert Jones. Others include quarterback Jacoby Brissett and defensive back Eric Rowe. The Senior Bowl will be aired on the NFL Network on Saturday at 1.30 Central Time. All right, guys, well, next up, we welcome our very own Travis Winfield, who's in the house today to discuss some X's and O's in our latest installment of Fins Focus. This edition will focus on the performance of the team's tight end groups throughout last season. Thank you so much for joining us, Travis. I'm happy to be here. You know, I, I think I say this probably every single month on the calendar. But this might be the best time of year, draft prep. I'm, I'm ready for it. Mm. You guys talk Senior Bowl. I want to talk some Dolphins tight ends, but draft prep, it's underway. Yeah, that's always an exciting time, right? All right. Well, according to FantasyPros.com, the Dolphins targeted tight ends on an NFL high, 174 pass attempts in 2021. How key was this position group to the success of the offense? Yeah, no one in the National Football League ran more 12 personnel than the Miami Dolphins. That's two tight ends on the field. Mike Kosicki, Durham Smythe, a big part of that. And I think you can thank the versatility of the room. Both those guys can do multiple things, especially Durham Smythe and Hunter Long and Adam Shaheen, all these guys that can function in the passing game, the running game. And it just helps the Dolphins stay balanced on offense in total. So this tight end position group, really the key to the Dolphins' versatility on offense. And which play among the Dolphins tight end stood out to you most in 2021? Yeah, let's go ahead and go play by player by player here. I'll start with Mike Kosicki. The one-handed grabs that he makes every year are so incredible. But I think there was two almost on back-to-back -back plays and drives where he made just two sensational catches. And then Durham Smythe in that almost comeback victory over the Falcons. He has a great catch up the sideline to get one of those touchdown drives in the fourth quarter. Really kick-started there. Hunter Long made his first career catch as well. So I thought there was a good mix of everybody in the room contributing. So I'll go with those plays. The Durham Smythe play against the Falcons. Mike Kosicki's one-handed grabs and Hunter Long's first career catch. Absolutely. Well, what strides are you looking most forward to seeing from the position group next season? Well, starting with the last and the previous answer there, Hunter Long, the, the rookie this year, it's really difficult for a tight end to come in and have success right away because you have to factor into all three phases of the offense. The running game, you have to run routes and you have to pass protect. It's a lot to learn for a young player. And he's also got a deep room ahead of him there with Kasicki and Smythe and Shaheen, Seath and Carter. But, you know, the tight end position is one of the toughest ones to learn in the National Football League. So I thought that he had a good job of learning this season and getting some experience. But next year, I expect some big progress from Hunter Long. Well, thank you so much, Travis. As always, we appreciate having you on. And your timely analysis is always on point. So thank you. It's my pleasure. For the second straight year, Dolphins cornerback Xavier Howard will be the team's lone representative at the Pro Bowl. This year's All-Star Game will take place at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas and will kick off at 3 p.m. Eastern this Sunday. Though Howard is the only Dolphin slated to play in the game, he's not the only Dolphin in Las Vegas to check out the Pro Bowl festivities. Rookie safety Javon Holland is in town to cover the Pro Bowl and took in the first practice ahead of the game. Check out Holland's highlights right here. Afternoon, Dolphins and Dolphettes. Javon Holland here. I'm here representing the Dolphins for media at the Pro Bowl. We just tapped in with X and he is loving the energy. There's a lot of fans out here, a lot of good vibes, um, a lot of great people. And, um, you know, the Pro Bowl is a unique time. Everybody comes together, you know, the best players in the league. And uh, it's looking great, you know. I'm enjoying myself out here. And uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow. Catch you guys later. All right, guys, before we let you go, Dolphin fans, we wanted to relive some of the most fun moments from the 2021 season. Since we talked a little offense in the last segment, let's tee up a few of the team's best touchdowns for Miami's second consecutive winning season. Check out some of the top scores right here. Tua, eluding the pressure and going deep down the sideline. He has a man over and he's got it. 10, 5, and pushed out of bounds is Mac Holland. No, he's ruled a touchdown. He did not go out of bounds. 65 oh. yards. Yep, he's in bounds. And he is wow. in bounds. <laughs> oh, my. 13th play, the drive that began at their own 23. Tua, beautiful fake, back in the end zone. It is caught. Waddle, touchdown. Well, watch Waddle come across in motion. And it's almost like a wheel route, and nobody sees him. But what a good drive for this Dolphins offense to begin the game. Blocks. The Dolphins special teams. Can they get a touchdown?
touchdown out of it. The shot forward, touchdown Dolphins. And a blocked punt. Lachlan Edwards never had a chance. Unbelievable. He jogs on late. Here he is right here on the outside. You've got to account for him. You've got to play it soft. Get a hand on him. They turn him loose right to the punter. Unblocked. They go there, and it's broken up. It's called a catch and fumble, and returned by Howard. In and out of the hands of Sammy Watkins, and Howard is in for the touchdown. It's a catch fumble on the part of Sammy Watkins. And Xavier Howard forced the fumble, picked it up, and returned it 49 yards for a touchdown. What a play by Howard. What a play by Howard, and what a night for this Miami Dolphins defense. A little fullback, a little Christian Wilkins in at fullback. Two up, throwing, touchdown. Christian Wilkins, when in doubt, go to the crafty wide receiver. <laughs> Christian Wilkins, all six foot four, 310 pounds. Yeah, it's not just the Jets who can reach into their bag of tricks. All right, team, well, that's a wrap for Dolphins today from the Baptist Health Studios here in Miami Gardens. We'll see you all again on Tuesday. Until then, go Fins. Bye, y'all.